everyone. It's a beautiful sunny day here at Laking Garden and this garden is where we have our biggest collections of late spring and early summer blooms including the clematis, the peony and our really popular irises. And we're joined by Alex Henderson who is our resident iris expert to tell us a little bit about this collection. Alex, why are irises so popular? Well I think one of the reasons that irises are so popular is when you when you look at the collection and um, really there's a huge colour diversity represented in the, in the flowers down here and when people talk about iris colours they often refer to the colours as being very similar to the colours of the rainbow. Well and that's really appropriate because iris is the Greek goddess of the rainbow. Yeah and so like when you're down here you can really enjoy that colour diversity. Now irises can be divided into two big groups right? Yeah so there are irises with beards and there are irises without beards. So what we're looking at here is a bearded iris and when we refer to the beard we're referring to this structure here on the on the flower. So the fuzzy part is the beard? Yeah the small fuzzy parts of the beard. Nice. Now not all of the flowers here are in bloom yet. When are we expecting the peak bloom? So right now I think the collection's probably about 20% in bloom but if we get good weather like this over the next few days I would expect that maybe by about Wednesday next week, running all the way through to the weekend, mm -hmm. everything down here will be a peak bloom. Well, and it already smells amazing. I can just imagine what it'll be like when it's all in bloom. Yeah, for, for those of you that are watching YouTube, you can't get that sense of the fragrance, but if you come down at peak bloom next week, it'll be intoxicating. Now, I think that our collection is laid out in a really interesting way. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah, so the beds are laid out by breeding trends through the 20th and 21st century. So each, each bed is a different decade, and as you walk through the decades you'll be able to notice various differences with flower shapes and new colours that have been introduced and see again how the diversity of the genus has changed over the years. And we have some gaps in some of the beds. We do and that's because what we're trying to do is replace some of the older irises and replace them with true to type that are absolutely right for that particular decade. So as part of the curation of the collection we're always looking to improve the content of the collection. Now another fun thing about irises are their names, right? Yeah, absolutely. So right here we have a, a, a tall bearded iris that's called Toucan Tango. And if we look at the label, we can see that Toucan Tango was introduced by a gentleman called Kasparak, who was from Utah and he introduced it in 1999. And this particular iris has an honorable mention in 2002, which means it's a particularly fine iris. Another iris with a really, really great appropriate name right now, which is just over there, is Jurassic Park. That's one of my favorites. So go Raptors. <laughs> uh, do you have any other favorites? Yeah, like one of my favorites is just coming up here on the, on the left and it's actually called Dracula's Kiss. It's an absolute beauty. Uh, and because of the plant nerd that I am, I actually dressed up as this iris for Halloween about three years ago. I remember, that was a really great costume. <laughs> Now we should note that there is some uh, flooding along Spring Garden Road and so there is a small parking lot off of Plains Road West that you can access but there's not a lot of space for many cars. So the good news what we're doing here at RBG is we're running shuttle buses from RBG Centre to all the various garden areas so if you want to visit the, the collection at Peak Blue um, you can get the shuttle bus at the weekends and it will bring you down here to, to enjoy the Irish collection at Peak Blue. That's great advice. Do you want to uh, ask people to share their favorite irises? Yeah, so if, I think. if you come down at Peak Bloom, this is a very photogenic collection. So uh, if you'd like to share your pictures with RBG social media, you can use the hashtag RBG Blooms. I think there's some really fun ones in here. So we look forward to seeing some of your photos and hope that you can visit us soon. Yeah, and go Raptors! <laughs>